and welcome to Die Rolling. I'm the ever excitable Adam, and today we're playing Aliens, another glorious day in the corpse. Ultimate badass says, get away from her, you bitch. And we are on the first of the two kind of special uh, new missions that they've added into the Get Away From You Bitch expansions. So uh, in this one, we are going to attempt to get Newt back from the Alien Queen and get to the exit. So we've got alien eggs we've got to get past. We've got the alien queen herself, who is a tricky foe, the best of times. Um, and we've got a, a slew of marines. And I'm thinking if I can manage to get most of the marines onto the Sulaco for the very last finale uh, video, which will be next week, then um, then yeah, I think I've got a good chance of winning this game. Uh, I have found playing this game that the, um, the kind of experience cards are kind of nerfing the aliens a little bit. Um, but I guess... Maybe you need to do that to balance it out. Anyway, without further ado, let's go to the table and see if I can manage to do this. So here we are for mission four, retrieve. And we're going up against this lovely gribbly character here, the alien queen that I very uh, foolishly pick up by the tail uh, in case it, the glue kind of uh, isn't all set on there. But uh, yeah, pretty cool model there. Uh, I haven't painted any of the alien models for this because I'm lazy and also, they're already black, so I don't really need to. But if you look on uh, on Instagram or various different uh, social medias, you'll find some really nicely painted miniatures for these. Um, but yeah, I just basically, I wanted to get this done. Um, I wanted to play it. So painting the, the heroes as well as the aliens seemed like quite a lot of work for me. Uh, so in this mission, our goal is to get back Newt because Newt's been captured again. I say again, she's never been captured in this particular um, run through. Uh, but yeah, this is generally they they're simulating the scene where Ripley has been uh, sorry, Newt has been taken to the alien hive, um, and Ripley is going back to get her. Luckily for us, we have still got a team of badasses to assist us along the way. We've got. Hicks, Hudson, Vasquez, Drake, and Apone, who I'm kind of nicknaming my dream team because these guys are, yeah, these guys are kick-ass. Newt is all the way up here, so we've basically got to come from here all the way up there, capture Newt, and then take her all the way following this path along up here, then through the alien queen's little kind of hive here, along through here, and then out the exit. We can only exit once we've gone past turn six, um, and when we get to turn five, we're going to be drawing double motion trackers. So the hive is going to be so busy with uh, with aliens at that point. Now, uh, speaking of aliens, we have got the alien queen out. Now, the alien queen, she is not going to be bothered by us unless we attack her or destroy one of the eggs. All the eggs are just kind of here. The eggs themselves, they basically block. Um, they don't move. They don't attack. They just kind of sit there and they stop us from moving past them. Um, it's, it's basically as soon as you move adjacent to them, you have to stop the same way you would aliens. So um, we're going to have to basically take these guys out and run through. Unfortunately, they are in a very uh, awkward kind of pattern here. So we can't really get through uh, here without taking a couple of these out, which means the alien queen is going to be active. Now, the alien queen, we can't kill. Um, every time we do damage, it would kill a normal alien. We're going to be placing one of these little uh, little kind of damage tokens down. And when she has got a certain amount of damage token, um, then she basically sits there for a turn and she misses a go, basically. And once that once that go uh, has come back, uh, sorry, once she has skipped her go, she clears off all the wound points on her and um, it begins again. So this is going to be very tricky to get past her. She uh, attacks, she's got a range of two when she attacks as well. Uh, and people are adding a plus three to their dice rolls when they're trying to defend against her. So she's going to be pretty tough. So I think I'm going to have to try and split my team up. Some up there, some down there. I probably won't. I'll probably just rush through the same area. But all I have to do is get at least one person to the exit and we can go to the next level. Um, so let's talk about my team. So uh, to begin with, we've got an enraged Ripley this time. This is different to her regular Ripley card because she's pretty annoyed that, um, yeah, that, that Newt's been captured. So um, her main change here is the fact that she's got uh, a speed of five, um, 
but she already had that. So the main change here is the on activation thing. So you have to exhaust five endurance cards, but you get to take three actions this activation. So she's going to be moving around a lot quicker, but at the, um, yeah, it's, we're going to be going through that endurance deck pretty quick. She's got the passability where she can equip a flamethrower and a pulse rifle as well. Um, so yeah, that's her. We've got body armor, we've got a helmet, and then her special abilities, she gains a plus one to her speed, so she's got a plus six speed at the moment. Uh, any card that says within two spaces is now within four spaces, so that basically means she um, is able to affect people further away. Uh, she gets a minus one to defense rolls, and if an alien is killed by a melee attack made by this character or another character within four spaces, we recycle three cards. Uh, she's true hero, so after firing an M41, M41A pulse rifle, she can also fire a backup we weapon as a free action. And uh, that includes the M240 flamethrower she's got there. Guess in rest, when this character or another character within two spaces takes a rest action, they may recycle an additional card, which is really handy because she's going to be burning through a lot of them. Uh, the hero we need, this character may reroll any defense roll they make, keep in second result, and other character within four spaces, this character gain minus one to the defense roll. So, so a lot to get through. Uh, so that's Enrage Ripley. Uh, she'll turn back to regular Ripley in the next mission if she survives this. Right, Hudson. Uh, nothing to say here, really, apart from that he's got an arc wilder, body armor, a pulse rifle, and a pistol. Opponent's our next hero here. On activation, he's going to be drawing an endurance card, then each marine character may recycle a card from their hand. Passive ability, equip costs of weapons and equipment being equipped to a opponent or another marine within four spaces of mill reduced by one. He's got a pulse rifle, grenades, helmet, flare, and he's got these special abilities here. Now, I put um, the eggs on here to remind me that these are on activation because that's one thing I, I struggle with this game. I do tend to miss act on activation things because there's so much going on when you're playing this solo, at least. So, being an example, draw an endurance card at the start of your activation. Whenever you would draw a hazard card that would be placed on your character, you may exhaust three cards from your hand to shuffle it back into the endurance deck. Eye on the ball. At the start of the marine phase, you may look at the top four motion tracker cards and return the cards to the motion tracker deck in any order. Shuffle the motion tracker deck. I need to add an egg to that card to remind me about that. Then we've got uh, this one here. I'll just have to move this out of the way so I can read it. So, Inspired Tactics. For an action, I can reveal a card and I can basically draw three endurance cards, choose a marine to make a attack or aim action, shuffle has a card from on a character back into the exhaust pile, which is very handy. Give and take. At the start of your activation, you may recycle a number of cards equal to the amount of endurance card you have in your hand. At the end of your activation, if you recycle if you recycle two or more cards in activation, you may draw two endurance cards. So this is basically to try and help us get kind of nerf this enraged Ripley over here. Get moving, action, exhaust up three cards from your hand to move another character up to that many spaces. Um, and then quick rest at the start of your activation, recycle a card, then you may draw a card. So he's got lots of on activation abilities, which we must remember. Hicks over here, nothing to say really apart from he's got a pulse rifle, a shotgun, body armor and Hadley's Hope map. Then Vasquez, who is our last hero character, exhaust two cards instead of three each time you fire an M56 smart gun. On activation, she reveals a card and she can take a name action or she can cycle a card and draw a card. She's got a smart gun, body armor and a shoulder lamp. Um, she has the gunner ability, so she exhausts one less card when making attacks during the marine phase, which basically means she's only going to be roll, uh, using one card when she's firing that smart gun during the marine phase. Sharpshooter, after making an attack, if you kill three or more aliens during an attack action, you may take a free aim action. Covering your six, this character exhausts one less card when making attacks during the alien phase, so basically whenever she's attacking, she's only going to be exhausting one card with this smart gun, which is amazing. Um, covering fire, before firing defensive fire, this character may take a free aim action. Born killer, at the start of the alien phase, reset your aim dial. And a closer look, at the start of your activation, you may look at any one blip. You may exhaust three cards to exchange any one blip with a random unused blip or another blip in play as an action. And then we have Drake rounding us off with a smart gun. Uh, he's only using two cards when he's uh, using that gun. And he's got body armor and the arc welder. And we have, of course, Newt at the bottom here, who's not going to be doing anything because she's currently... Um, a guest of the Alien Queen. So until we get her out of there, she's not going to be able to use her abilities whatsoever. And with that, we are ready to play. 
So uh, the first character we are going to start off is Ripley. So uh, Ripley, to begin with, is going to be uh, exhausting five cards straight away. I'm going to try and show a bit more of this card action as well when we're playing this game this time around. Uh, but we'll see. So Ripley. What are you going to do? Got a very awkward camera angle here. So Ripley gets three actions this round and she has no on activation abilities. So we're just going to get her to go straight up to Newt. So she's got a speed of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. And she is going to do an interact action to get Newt. Now, on the actual um, rules for this, it says if the interact action is successful, uh, you add the character to your team as a grunt with no weapons. However, um, there's nothing in the rulebook or in here to say what you do for an interact action. In the rulebook, it says, oh, it'll say on the mission. And the mission, it just says, oh, if it's successful. So I don't know if you're supposed to do a tech test or... I don't know, I did all you're supposed to do, so I'm just gonna, as an action, take her. So she is now free from the alien queen. We just need to get her out. So uh, we're now going to activate Newt at this point. So Newt, um, she has got a speed of five. So she gets one action this round. So instead of moving, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use her ability, which is she's going to take a rest action and she can recycle an additional card. But due to um, the support to get some rest card that Ripley has, we're actually going to be recycling four cards this way. So for three actions, we only had to use one card that time, which is really handy. Um, so we've now only got one card in the exhaust deck, which is great. And then there's no end of activation abilities, so we don't need to worry about that. Well, we're now going to go to a pwn. So here's our, our guy here. And last time I was playing this, I actually was using the wrong miniature for a pwn. So I'm pretty annoyed at myself for that. He's got a ton of stuff he has to do in his activation. So let's begin with his card. So on activation, draw an endurance card. Then each character may, uh, marine character may recycle a card from the hand. So he draws a card. And of course, it's a hazard. Um, place this card in your character. At the end of your character activation, exhaust two cards. In addition, discard two cards if your character is in line of sight of an alien model. However... Whenever you would draw a hazard card that would be placed on your character, you may exhaust three cards from your hand to shuffle it back. I don't have three cards in my hand, so. A pwn has got some deep seated trauma there. Uh, we now have to draw an additional card. And of course, it's another one. Reveal cards until you reveal a weapon card or you have revealed five cards. Discard all reveal cards. If you've got one or more hazard cards this way, shuffle this card back into your exhaust pile. Otherwise, discard this card. Ugh. So one, two, okay, cool. So all three of these go into our discard pile, which isn't great. So far, opponent is doing a very poor job. Um, so that was another one he has to do. He's got to activate another, draw another card, and it gets an event. And we could play this, a reveal a card. Um, but you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hold on to this. So he's got one card in his hand, and I can also look at the top four motion tracker cards and return the cards to the motion tracker deck in any order. So we're gonna do this to begin with to see what we're gonna be dealing with. Okay, exhaust six cards. That is awful. So that's gonna go in the very bottom, and the others don't really matter. So we're just going to put those like that. Exhaust six cards. Oh, that's not good at all. Okay, so that's all of his. Ah, he also has quick rest. So at the start of your activation, recycle a card. So he's going to recycle one card. So now we don't have anything in the exhaust deck. Um, it's all in the endurance. And I've put these over here just to go. Yeah, 
that's that. So a pawn can actually do something now. So he's got two actions. And with a pawn, we're actually going to get him to start coming down this way. So pawn has got his speed of four. And he's going to do, um, what should we do then? We'll move again. Right, so now he gets to activate some grunts. So we're going to get him to activate Hudson first. Hudson is next to um, a door. So Hudson is going to, what's Hudson going to do? He's got an arc welder. So he's going to discard this card. He's going to discard this to basically uh, put a barricade token over this door. And then he's going to go one, two, three, four this way as well. Okay, I'm fairly certain we we're going to have blips appearing at four this round. From uh, I think the very first spawn is at four. Um, so we're going to activate Hicks next. He's got a tech of four, so hopefully this will work, but we'll see. So he's going to move adjacent to that, and then we're going to do a tech test to see whether we can barricade this spawn point. We've got a three, which is great. So we've actually barricaded this spawn point. Hopefully that will stop the aliens coming through. That's the end of a pawn's activation, I believe. So it's now down to Vasquez. So Vasquez, um, on activation, we have to reveal a card. And of course, it is a hazard. Place this card on your character, start the character activation, and reveal a card. So um, we'll do that. And it's an equipment card, so reduce this character's aim by two. Ooh. So she's got overwhelming losses. Okay, so, um, and is there anything else? And at the start of your activation, you may look at any blip. So we're gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna take a look at this blip that's closest to us, and I'm just gonna flip it over so we know there's three aliens uh, coming there. Now, I, as an action, I could actually uh, exhaust three cards to exchange any one blip with a random unused blip or other blip in play, but I'm not gonna worry about that. And I've just realized a pony is actually gonna get attacked this turn uh, because they've actually got enough speed to come around the corner and get to him. So Vasquez is also aware of this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So she's coming up here. Uh, she's going to activate Drake. So uh, Drake is also going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So he's got some line of sight there as well, hopefully helping us out. It's the end of the Marines turn now. So we are going to go on to the alien phase. So you know the drill at this point, guys. Any uh, any alien models on the board will activate. The queen doesn't activate yet because no one's attacked her hive. She's got no reason to do that. So these guys, we're going to roll it. I see how fast these blips move. And we want them to be one, if I'm honest. But it's two, which is probably just enough. Uh, so two, so it's probably not just enough for them to come into line of sight. So one, two, he's in line of sight. So he goes there, he's going to be attacking. So we've got... One, two, he is also in line of sight. Just the one alien this time. So he's gonna come around there. One, two, he's not in line of sight. These guys, one, two, two, one, two. Okay, so we have our first little firefight down here. Uh, so it's a pwn versus these guys, but Vasquez, she's gonna activate first. Now at the start of the alien phase, her dial has gone back up to eight. Uh, which is great. So she's going to start off by attacking. Right, so Vasquez exhausts one card to do this. Uh, she gets to roll two dice and she wants an eight or less. She's got a five. So she's taken out one of these aliens and she's going to continue because she's got full auto in here. She needs seven or less. We so exhaust a card as well. Yep, she got a star and a five, so that's two aliens dead. And then she's exhausting another card. She needs six or less now. And she got four and a six, so she kills this character. Now, because she's killed three people, she gets to take a free aim action. So her aim has gone back up to six. Right, uh, but a pawn. Um, a pawn is alone because I don't think Vasquez has got a line of sight on, um, on this alien. Um, so I, it's just a pawn. A pawn is going against this alone. So a pawn has got um, deep-seated trauma. 
which I forgot to do, which meant I should have exhausted two of these cards at the end of his round. Uh, end of his turn. Now we get to do an attack. So he's going to be attacking with his uh, pulse rifle. He's got an aim of six. So we need six or less. We get to roll one dice. And we got a seven. Yikes. And there's nothing about re-rolling dice, so that kind of sucks. So the alien uh, has got him. We now do, uh, we roll a dice to see whether he can defend against the alien. He needs to get a seven or less. He got a seven, so he manages to defend against that alien. Okay, so um, we now do motion tracker cards. So the first one is we have one at four. Uh, but we have to roll the dice to see whether they get through. So we will roll the alien dice on a four, five, or six. They break through. Of course, it's a four. So we get a blip. Um, and there is four aliens there. Oh, yay, yay, yay. And we also have to reveal a card. It's an event, so nothing happens there. Okay, uh, so the second motion tracker card is Alien Drones. Uh, place missile either discard one barricade in play or place a second blip at spawn point one. Um, so I'm going to actually get rid of this barricade in play because I'd rather do that. So you have a blip at two, which is up there. And the next one is a blip at two. If this spawn point already has a blip or any model, move this blip four spaces towards the nearest character, which it does. So we have another blip coming out. Bloop, 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 bloop. And that is the end of the uh, the first turn here. So we're going to move to turn two. Now we can't actually escape until turn six. Right, so uh, straight on to Ripley there in the background. Uh, she's exhausting five cards for this. But she gets three actions. So her first action, she's going to pick up Newt. Which is something she can do, especially on this level. And we replace her with a pretty cool uh, miniature this time around. So that's her first action. Her second one is to run. One, two, three, four, five, six. And she's going to carry on running. Hicks can run away from that. He's got this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six there. She's then going to activate... Um, she's going to activate Hudson, who's going to do two rest actions. So recycled six cards there. It's so now a pwn's turn. So on activation, he's got to draw like three endurance cards. So here's the first one, an event. So he could use that if he exhausts three cards. Each character may move up to two spaces. Marine characters that move may, uh, move may draw an endurance card. That's pretty handy. Uh, his second activation is, is a microscope. Take a tech test if pass, reveal a card. Uh, reveal the top three cards in the endurance deck. If the character is a hero, place one reveal card into your hand. Recycle a card from the discard pile and, or take two rest actions. And the last one he reveals is an event. Play before another character makes a defense roll, reveal a card. Um, so yeah, that's, pr that's a pretty handy card. Um, okay, I'm not sure what to do uh, with that at the moment. But uh, so opponent is in combat. We reset his aim dial back up to six. Um, and he's actually going to, as a free action, he's going to discard this flare, which might prove problematic later. But it also gets me to move, um, look through the look through this motion tracker tra uh, deck and get rid of that card that exhausts us um, for six cards. So I may place one of these cards at the bottom of the motion tracker deck. Okay, so I've got um, these two here. So I'm going to be placing a, a tunnel next to a character. I'm going to be placing a ton of blips, um, another tunnel and exhausting six cards. I'm not sure what's what's worse, if I'm honest. Probably moving moving the blips is probably the worst one. Um, I honestly don't know what to do here, which one to get rid of. This could really alter everything. Okay, I'm going to get rid of their inside the perimeter. I'm going to get rid of one of these. Um, and place that at the bottom of the motion tracker deck. Okay, so that's my flare discarded. Now opponent's got this guy to worry about, so uh, he's going to have to attack. So we're exhausting a card from uh, the endurance deck to roll. We got a two, so we have taken out this alien, which is handy. And he can also uh, recycle a card and draw a card, but he's just going to recycle one. 
Okay, so a pawn, what should we do a pawn? I think a pawn's gonna stay that in aim. And then he gets to activate Hicks. So uh, Hicks is kind of in trouble there, I guess. So Hicks is going to, um, we're gonna wait for defensive fire for this. We're gonna move one, two, three. I'm gonna try and barricade this. And sorry, rolling the wrong dice. I need to get under four. And I got a four, so we barricaded this door again. Um, I've done this here so that basically when these guys come for him, uh, Ripley's going to be able to do a free, uh, well, he's, she's going to be helped with defensive fire for that. So he's got a bit more help. Uh, so that was the first person opponent activated. The next one he's going to activate is Drake. Drake is going to do an aim action. So his aim is now six. He's going to do that. And then he'll also uh, do a rest. So we're going to get rid of three cards. Okay, Vasquez's turn. So on activation, she's got to reveal a card. It's a weapon, so she can take an aim action. So she has an aim of nine, which doesn't really do much for us because um, I forgot to exhaust two cards at the end of uh, a pawn's action there. So there we go. Um, yeah, it doesn't really do much for us because her aim gets reset back to eight at the start of the uh, yeah at the start of the alien phase. So um, I guess she's just gonna she's gonna rest as well. We're gonna get rid of all the exhausted cards just to give us a bunch of rests actions. Right, so that's everyone activated now. So because um, I don't believe when Newt is when Newt's being carried, I don't think she can still do her abilities. Um, oh no, she can do rest actions. That's good to know. But she can't be attacked by alien models. Right, so speaking of aliens, there's no aliens on the board that can activate apart from this guy here. So uh, he goes for it. So one, two, three, he's coming for Hicks. We're gonna activate Ripley first. And Ripley exhausts the card. We roll a dice. We got a six and her aim was seven, so we take out one of these aliens. And we're going to attack again. So we can go full auto. We've got a nine, so she misses. Uh, it's coming for Hicks now. So Hicks is going to exhaust a card. He needs six or less. Got a five, so it takes out one of them. And he's going to roll again. Six, so he misses this time around. Um, okay, so the alien's coming for him. He's got a defense of four. He gets an eight, so he failed. Uh, I get a re reveal a card. It's a hazard, so unfortunately, this doesn't do anything. Oh, I've got it. I think I have to do the hazard as well. So Burke's Treachery, reveal a card. It was an event. Exhaust eight endurance cards, then discard this card. So Hicks is down. His name is on four now. Um, yeah, so that, that kind of sucks. So we now go to blip movements. So we're going to roll the dice for this one first. We've got three. So one, two, three, four, five. We've got three aliens here coming straight for a pawn. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then we've got to roll for this tile. Five. So uh, one, two, three, there's three aliens here. Uh, and this one, may as well move this way. One, two, three, four, five. He's in line of sight, so there's one alien. Here. Wow, isn't this a turn up for the books? So, um, Vasquez is going to do defensive fire first. She's got an aim of eight. And we're exhausting a card. Rolling one dice, or two dice, sorry. And she got a five there, so she takes out one of these guys. 
She's going full auto, so we're going to do another one. She needs to get um, seven or more, seven or less even. When she does, she takes out another guy. She now needs to get six or less. She does, so she gets to take a free aim action, so she's back to six now. Um, so that was good. Opponents next. Um, so actually, do you know what? Vasquez is going to uh, do defensive fire against this. And before firing defensive fire, you take a free aim action. So she's back to seven, which is really handy. We recycle a card. Sorry, exhaust a card. She got three, so that's one of these aliens down. And we've now just run out of cards from our endurance deck. So I'm going to reshuffle uh, the cards which are left. So she's uh, exhausting the card. She needs six or less now. She's got a four, so that's another alien gone. And then we're exhausting another card to hopefully... This smart gun is pretty handy. She's got a six. She needed, uh, she needed a five, so she misses this time around. So um, we now go to a pawn's defense. He's using his assault rifle. Nine, so he misses. So we have to go for a defense. He's got defense of seven, and he defends that no problem. Okay, so motion tracker time. So uh, the first card we get is Driven by Purpose. So we're going to be placing two at four. And then after you place blip, move each blip and play three spaces. I did this as a first card because there'd be less blips on the board to move. So uh, two at four. And then they move three spaces. Uh, Ripley's actually got line of sight on this guy. Um... And there's three of those. Um, so he won't move because he, he was already revealed. But this is a blip, so it's going to move. One space before it's revealed. And there's four there. Oh. Okay, so quite a lot of aliens come down this back, uh, back passage. Pardon the expression there. Um, and... That was Ripley's card she drew. So this card is now for a pwn who's next. So we've got a tunnel that appears next to um, a pwn. So I'm gonna have to be there, unfortunately. Um, place a tunnel token in a square that is in, within line of sight and next to this character. Then we reveal a card. It's an event, so we place one blip on the tunnel token. And it's not gonna be a blip because it's gonna get revealed straight away and it's two aliens. So these guys just jumped down, heard all the commotion. I've got a proper bottleneck here now. This is a nightmare. The last card is Relentless Horde, two at one, and we exhaust six cards. Okay, and we're on to round three. Part of me just kind of feels like uh, getting, just ignoring Hicks. <laughs> so uh, Ripley begins, we've got to exhaust um, Five cards for her. And but she gets three actions. Her first action is going to be a rest. She gets recycled four cards this way. Uh, her second action is going to be an attack. Um So, so hopefully we'll take this guy out and she does she does it as a two so we take out this guy and then we're going to leave it so um one two three four five six one two three four so i'm just moving there so that i can use my flamethrower to try and take out the aliens when they come for us um so we're going to activate um hudson next Oh no, Newt next. We're going to activate Newt. And she gets to recycle 
five cards because she gets um, one additional because of her passive ability and one because of Ripley's get some rest ability. So actually we're recycling 10 cards with her, which is very handy. So uh, we go on to a pwn next. And as always, a pwn is like drawing all the cards. So uh, we're drawing three cards for a pwn. So you get a bypass, we get an event, choose character, take a tech test, if passed, move the compute token on the board to a space next to the chosen character, useless. And then uh, just discard a card from the top of the endurance deck to shuffle a hazard card on a character into the exhaust pile. That is very good. So we're gonna probably do that. So those two cards we just got, we're gonna, uh, no, discard a card from the top of the endurance deck. So we're gonna do that. And we got rid of a pistol and we've had to exhaust these two cards to do that event. And we're going to get rid of the overwhelming losses, which is on Vasquez. So she doesn't have to worry about this anymore. OK, um, so that was his third card, I think. Yeah, so he's, he's done all of his cards. So I've activated recycle a card and then he can draw a card. And he's in within within four spaces of Ripley, so he actually gets to recycle two cards. No, <laughs> no, he doesn't. He just gets to recycle one. And he can't really rest because he's surrounded by these guys. So, ah, oh, I also don't think I actually moved these guys' spaces. Um, or did I? Oh, I can't remember if I moved them. I think I should have moved these. Um, so if I haven't, then that's a shame. But two, three. So we've just got a ton of aliens here. Maybe I've just messed myself up by uh, one, two. So basically all of these guys are out. So we've got a three and we've got a two. So we've got a ton of aliens here. Oh. That is not a nice sight to do be behold, really. Um, so, a pwn. I guess you better start doing some stuff, a pwn. Okay, so this is what a pwn is going to do. He's going to try and take out this single alien. If he can, he can then shoot a grenade into this space and hopefully take out all of these guys. But we just got to hope the dice are with us. So, exhausting one card for his firearm. He's got an aim of six. Come on, a pwn. A two. So, we've done it. We've taken out this guy. And then we get to do a free attack with the uh, grenades. Oh no, it's an additional attack. So action using a grenade weapon equipped to this character. So discard this card to make an attack with the weapon. Um, and it always hits on a six or less. So we've got four guys on there. So let's roll for this, for this first model here. Six or less does it, so one, two, Three, four. Okay, we'll go for these guys at the back. There's two of those. One, two. Uh, this guy here. One. And this guy here. It says three. So one, two. So we got through the two of those guys. That was the single best attack I have done in this entire campaign. Um, now I'm not sure whether I get to, that was a free attack I got to do there or not. Um, and I'm going to use this sort of event straight away where it gets to move uh, characters up to two spaces, all Marine characters. So I've got to discard three cards from my hand. Well, exhaust three cards from my hand even. And all uh, all characters will move up to two spaces, which um, should hopefully assist. So I get to move there. I get to move there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and Hudson gets to move there. We can't move. Hicks, Hicks is basically dead to us at the moment. Um, <laughs> so... 
I think that the wording of the uh, the assault rifle makes me think that a pawn's actually done two actions now. So that's the end of his activation. I have to uh, exhaust two cards because of his deep seated trauma. And I have to shuffle uh, the few cards that remain. Um, so he's going to activate. Um, Drake next. So Drake is going to activate. He's going to um, attack with his smart gun. Go to seven, which is. Is that enough to. No, that's, he's got only got a name of five, so that doesn't actually do anything. Uh, so he misses on his first go. He's going to attack again. And he got one this time around. I don't think it's worth attacking again with Drake, though. Uh, so we're going to activate uh, Hudson next. One, two, three, four. Then Hudson is going to attack with his assault rifle. And misses completely. Game over, man. It's just game over. Okay, uh, so we're on to Vasquez. Vasquez has to draw a card at the start of her turn. It's a weapon card. Uh, she can take an aim action, so her aim is now at 9. Uh, so she's going to attack. Of course she is. Only costs her one card to do this. Uh, she's rolling two dice. And uh, she got a star over there, so we take out this guy. She's going to keep going, so her aim is now 8. And yep, she did it. So she's taken out this alien as well. Uh, her next action, she's going to try and do a tech test. To, actually, no, she's going to move her next one. So one, two, three, four. Um, and that's everybody activated. So, on to the aliens' turn. Uh, the aliens, I guess, are going to ignore Hicks for this, or will they go for Hicks? So Hicks actually stands up at this point because there's no aliens next to him. So this makes this a lot easier. These guys are just coming for Hicks. And he's in a lot of trouble because there's a lot of aliens there. So uh, for this guy, there's one, two, three, three aliens attacking him. So four in total. We have a minus three to his, um, well, plus three to his defense roll. But let's see if we can uh, kill them first. So he's going to use his... Pulse Rifle, and he's got a six. He needs to get three or less to be able to defend against this. And he got a six, so Higgs is down. Right, and then we move these blips that are down here. Six spaces, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just one and two. Okay, and now the motion tracker cards, which is normally what messes us up. So uh, we've got one at three, and then we reveal a card. And it's an event. So nothing happens there. The second one is aim assault, so we place one at three. If this blip already has a blip or any model, move the blip four spaces towards the nearest character. So it goes one, two, and then we roll the dice, see if it can get through the barricade, which it cannot. Got a two, sorry. And the last card is alien drones. Play inside the discard one barricade in play or place a second blip at spawn point one. Um, so we're gonna have one at four. And you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna place this one down the bottom here at one. I'm gonna keep that barricade there as long as I can. Okay, so we're on to the uh onto the good guy's turn. So we're actually gonna start off not with Ripley this time around because we've got bugger all cards to use. Um We're gonna start with Vasquez. We're going for it. We've we've got like We've got a pretty clear way to get through here. So I don't know whether we want to try and get 
everyone up here first and then destroy these things and then run? Uh, it, that might make more sense if I do that. Okay, so... So we're going to go for a pwn first. So he's revealing three cards as always. Um, so the first one is a weapon card. He gets to keep that. We get uh, another combat knife. And then finally a pistol. So we've got three cards in his hand. Uh, on activation, you can recycle a card and then he can draw a card. And then I can also recycle for how many cards I have in my hand, which is something I forgot to do. So he's got four cards. So we now have six cards recycled. Um, and we can do this to get rid of that card he's got on him. So we're going to do that. So it's going to cost us two cards to do this. Uh, we discard the card from the top of there. And then we shuffle this back in the exhaust deck. Okay, so there's only one card left and we know that's a hazard. So, opponent's turn. Opponent is going to do a rest action first. So he gets to recycle um, three cards. I actually picked up four there. Um, so that was his first action. His second action, he's going to move. So actually, do you know what? what's his tech like? Could we barricade that? We've got a tech of five, so that's not too bad. I'm going to try and barricade this. Uh, Oh no, what's the chance of a, a tunnel thing coming up? We're going to run. One, two, three, four. So he's there. Next, he's going to activate um, Hudson. So Hudson is going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to activate Drake. So Drake is going to run as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So Drake is up here. Um, okay, so that's the end of her activation. Um, and she's going to actually get Newt to go. So Newt gets to recycle 10 cards. Cool. So now it's Ripley's turn and she's enraged. So of course we're just, we're just exhausting five cards. Uh, so we had one card left there. We need another four cards. And Ripley is going to use her flamethrower, which is going to cost two cards. She's doing an attack action against this space and she gets to attack everyone who's adjacent to that. She's got an aim of seven. And it always hits on a seven or less, so this is pretty pretty handy. Um, so let's see how we do. So for the first guy, we get a seven. Second guy, a nine. So there's still an alien in front of us, which is a shame. And then over here, we got a four. So they're gone. Uh, Ripley is going to do a action with her pulse rifle, so she needs six or less now. Ooh. And she got a four. Perfect. She now gets to do a. Uh, her third action, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. She's run up there. Sorry, uh, sorry, Hicks. Uh, it is game over for you. So it's now uh, the alien's turn. Um, Hicks is gone. And we get to pick one of these to take with him. And because I'm... I'm trying to play this as, as harshly to my characters as possible, so I'm going to get the one with the least amount of aliens with it to disappear. Uh, so this guy moves six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's coming straight after Ripley. Um, and then we're going to have uh, blips moving. So uh, roll a dice for this tile up here. Uh, this blip is only moving one space. And then I've got a roll for this tile here to see how many, how fast these blips are moving. We've got a five here, so we'll start with this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Ripley can see them, so they move forward another space. And there's three of them. Uh, 
Then we're going to roll to see if these guys can break through the barricade, which they don't. And that guy just moves there. Okay, so uh, we do the motion tracker deck now. Uh, three, Alien Scout exhausts one card for each character within line of sight of this blip when it appears. Um, three's here, so we don't have to exhaust any cards, which is really nice. Um, so the next card that comes out, so this is, um, a poem went first, it's Vasquez now. False Alarm, recycle a card. Thank you, Vasquez. Very nice. And then finally, Ripley was the last to activate, so another False Alarm. Perfect, so recycle yet another card. Oh. And we go to turn four now. Okay, so this isn't looking too bad. The Alien Queen is going to activate this round. Um, but hey, what can you do? Okay, opponent's going to take it for the team. Three cards to reveal. First one is an event. Uh, which we can basically reshuffle. We shut off. We can shuffle a tunnel card back into the deck if we want to. Uh, we get another event here. Each card can move its two spaces. Ah, oh, that's really nice. Uh, we get another card, which is have ever been mistaken for a man, which is nice. Uh, start my activation. I can recycle a card and draw a card, so we'll do that. And oh, of course, it's blinding rage. Place this card in your character. Each time your character activates, exhaust two cards. Um, however. I can now use the three cards I've just got to shuffle it back into the Endurance deck. Which is a real shame, because I thought I was doing well then. He's still got one card in his hand though, so we're going to um, exhaust, re sorry, recycle one card for the card he's got in his hand, because he has that ability. Oh, okay, so that's what I was going to do. I was going to take one for the team. So. We are going to activate um, a pwn. A pwn is going to start shooting at alien eggs. So uh, attack with the first one. He's attacking the one that's closest to him. It's going to be six for this. And we've got a star. So he takes out this alien. The queen is now enraged. We're going to be uh, attacking with the next one. So it's a five or less. We've got a three. So we've got another one. And then we're going to try and take this last one out over here. Um, so one of those, we need a four or less to do this. We've got a 10, so he misses on that last one. Uh, and then for his next action, he is going to just recycle. Um, and he gets recycle four cards this way because he's very close to Ripley. Okay, so uh, the Queen's activated. Uh, we get to activate a Grunt now. Um, so we're going to move Drake in. Um, so Drake's going to go one, two... Three. He's got to stay still because he's adjacent to the queen now. Uh, and Drake is going to attack the egg that's right up the back there that's blocking us from getting out there. So uh, Drake is going to be exhausting two cards to do this. And then we're rolling two dice. Both sixes. Uh, and his aim is unfortunately five. So he misses. He had one job. So that's a, that's a shame. Um, we can activate another grunt though. So let's activate um, let's activate Hudson. So we move Hudson here one, two, and then he gets an attack. He got a six, which is fine because that's what his aim is. So we take out this egg, and then he's got line sight on this other egg. So we're going to try and do that. Four, we've done it. We've taken out that egg. The queen hisses. Um, and that's the end of a pwn's activation. We're now going to go to uh, Vasquez now. So she reveals a card. Of course it's this. Reveal a card, then recycle this card. And it's a weapon. So shuffle a random card from the discard pile back into the exhaust pile. That's not bad at all. Unless it's a, uh, a hazard. That would suck. Right, so that was Vasquez's Vizquez, um, activation. Uh, so pull these over here. So she's going to hot foot it. One, 
Oh, we still can't. I've got to stop there though. This egg's still stopping us. I did not realize that. So we're going to go one, two, and then she's going to attack. One thing to do this. We've got two in a ten, so that one is gone also. That's the end of her activation. Uh, so it's Ripley. So she's in a blind rage. We get rid of five cards. Two, three, four, five. We're then going to hot foot it. Oh, way. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So she's very close to getting there. Newt's activation, she is going to recycle 10 cards. Okay, so we're now onto the aliens phase. I'm not sure if we should start with the uh, the queen or with the aliens themselves. Okay, so we're just going to activate the the little aliens first. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. They can get right in there. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Six, so they're just blocking the exit there. Uh, and they're attacking as well. So uh, attacking Hudson here, but Vasquez gets to do some return fire to begin with. So it's just one card to do this. Her aim is eight. She's rolling two dice. She's got a two, so it takes out one of these guys. She's gonna do that again. She's got a five, so yep, she takes out another one. And she'll do it again. This time she needs a six or less. And she got a seven, so she missed that last one. Um, right, so it's Hudson's turn. Hudson is going to try and defend, so he's rolling one dice. He needs to get a five or less. He got a two. Boom, that alien's gone. Right, so this alien's attacking next, and it's attacking a pwn. Um, a pwn is going to try to attack with his assault rifle, of course. And he got a two, so he takes out one of these guys. Uh, so his aim is now two itself, so he, he can't really carry on his point. So we're just going to have to hope his defense holds fast. So his defense is currently seven. We have to add on two because of these two tokens here. So um, he basically needs a five or less. And he got a ten. So we've got, we've got a helmet, so... We can uh, reveal a card. Oh, not from there. I've got no cards left, so we have to reshuffle these. And oh, let's put those there. And if this is a um, a weapon or yeah, you know, we want we want this to be an equipment card. Basically, it's an event. So unfortunately, opponent is knocked down. Right, so uh, Drake is next because he's being attacked by the Alien Queen. What a lovely honor that is for him. The Alien Queen is attacking and he has got a plus three to his roll here, which means he needs a two or less to be able to um, defend against this. He got a two. Also, his melee is two, which basically means he does one damage to the Alien Queen. That is a badass move, uh, I must say. So, um, yeah, so well done, Drake. Like, you've been shooting like, I don't know, like I would with a smart gun. But um, you've, honestly, I'm, I'm very impressed with you. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to be rolling for this tile first, see how fast these guys move. And we've got a five, so they're speeding along. Then we're going to roll for these guys here. It's a one, so can they get through the door? They can, so one, one, one. Enemy spawning now. They're in the ceiling. So the first person to activate was a pwn. So we've got to put a one of these bar, uh, one of these uh, tunnel tokens next to him, and then um, we're putting two of these blips at three. It's just there. We can't actually put anyone on else on, so he can't actually come onto the board. Then we reveal one of these, 
is a weapon, so we place three bl blips on all tunnel tokens. Right, and you have to bear with me now because I have to sort out all of these guys because these three can be seen. I don't think anyone has line of sight on these though. So we've got four, two, and a three. There we go. So that was the, just the first one. Oof. Second one reveal, uh, Alien Lurker, if uh, we place it on two, if this blip is not placed on a spawn site within line of sight, moves four spaces. So we have a blip at two. Oh, sorry. Blip, 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 blip. And then finally, we have flanking aliens. Players must choose either exhaust four cards or place one more blip at spawn point three. One more at spawn point three because you can't. So we get two on two. So at this point, I kind of feel like the uh, all of our marines need to be just holding these guys off for Ripley. Uh, we're now on to turn five. At the end of this turn, we'll be drawing two motion trackers per character. And then at the then we'll get, it'll be turn six and we can actually exit. As long as I get Ripley out of here, I don't really mind if I lose anybody else because I've got a ton of other, I've got my B team left. I've got Gorman, I've got Wisbowski, I've got Dietrich, I've got Crow, I've got Frost, I've got Burke. Ugh. And you've not even seen Bishop yet. Um, so we might even get Bishop out to the table. Uh, who knows? We know Hicks is gone, which is a shame. There's no other chance we're going to be able to get him back at this point. We could do a rescue mission after this, I guess, but we're not going to do that. Uh, I'm running out of cards quicker than I'd like. So, turn five. Six motion tracker cards coming out at the end of this. We're going to start with Pwncon Activate. Um, so, we're going to be starting with, instead, Vasquez. So, reveal a card. It's a weapon card, so she gets to take an aim action, so she's now at nine. Um, and we are going to go full auto on this, I think. So she is just going to start shooting. I can't really see her behind all these aliens. So let's move this around a bit. So there's Vasquez over there. She's going to start shooting through. Um, so I've discarded one card for this. Her aim is nine at the moment. And I've got a three and a ten, so the three counts. We take out one of these guys <laughs> oh that's what i was going to do i was just going to run with her <laughs> um anyway i'm going to carry on with the fight so i attack again so there's just one guy left there i got nine and ten so i miss that's a shame she's then going to move so she's going to go one two three four She's backing up. Okay, she's going to activate Drake next. Uh, Drake is going to move one, two, three. And then Drake is going to uh, shoot. So exhaust two cards for this. And we got four and a two. So he managed to take out one of these guys. So we're going to... Is we want to go for the Alien Queen? I guess she does a lot more damage, doesn't she? Because aim is really low as it is, though. It's a five... Yeah, let's do some damage to the alien queen. Why not? Attack again. <laughs> Does another damage to it. Uh, so he's three or less now. Queen is he's doing pretty well for the queen, but we're gonna leave it where he is for that because I don't I think his luck is gonna run out at that point. Uh, which then brings us on to um, Hudson. Hudson is going to. Move back one, two. He's then going to do a rest action. And then we're going to, he's going to activate new to this point. He's going to do two rests, which is five, ten cards in total. Recycled. And then we go to Ripley. So we have to exhaust five cards. And we're on to the alien phase. So unfortunately, a pawn has been taken to the alien hive. And uh, 
will take out that single one avian that's next to him because that's the uh, the most unfortunate thing we can do for our characters. Um, next, the aliens are going to move. So these guys are going to be in Hudson's face. These guys are going to be in Hudson's face. Um, this guy is going to be running all the way through up here. And the queen just moves along there like that. So uh, Vasquez's aim is back up to eight. And she gets to do an aim action before a defensive fire. So uh, we're going against the queen. Why not? So the queen's going to attack first. We'll see if we can damage this so-and-so. So we need nine or less. And we got a star and a three. So that's four damage on the queen. We can discard another card. We need eight or less. We got two eights. So that's another damage on the queen. Discard, a, sorry, exhaust card. We need seven or less. And we got three in stars. So the queen is incapacitated now. So Vasquez has done a great job there. Uh, so the queen's stopping attacking now because we damage enough. So uh, this next alien here is attacking Vasquez. Vasquez needs a six or less now. Oh, she's doing defensive fire, so it's actually seven or less. She's got four and a ten, so that takes out uh, this alien here. Now she needs a six or less. And she's got six and a nine. Six just over there, sorry. Uh, so that's another one gone. And now she needs a five or less. Can she do it? She got a five and a three, so that's the three we take. Vasquez has managed to defend off this particular assault of aliens against her. Hudson is next, though. Vasquez is going to, she's got five aim. She's, she's four now, so she's going to do an aim action to do help try and defend against Hudson. So she's discarded one card. Her aim is now five. Five or less. She got a star and a two, so she takes out one alien over here. It's now four or less. She got a star, so it's another one. Three or less. Out of luck there. So now Hudson is being attacked by this one alien here. So he gets he's gonna use his pistol. Um, it doesn't cost him anything, it's three or less to hit. He got an eight, so now we have to do his body armor. So we roll for defense. And he defended that, which is Pretty good. His defense is five, so that's fine. This alien is now attacking him, so he's going to try and shoot with a pistol again. He got seven, so he misses with a pistol. Uh, we see if he can get past the defense. His defense is currently five, but there's three, uh, three tokens under there. So basically, we need to be rolling a two or less, and we got a six. So we now draw a card, reveal a card to see. What happens uh, and it's a weapon card which is unfortunate because basically means we now have to um, discard the body armor sorry exhausted body armor and Hudson is down that is the best I could have hoped for in this situation if I'm honest so now let's move these guys so we're gonna start off with this one over here got a speed of five so uh, one two three four five so we have one alien who's just popped himself in there um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have another single alien over here. So yeah, that's what that's looking like at the moment. Not a very pretty sight. Uh, and then we're going to roll for this one to see how quick everything on here moves. And it's a four. So we've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So they'll be up there. There's another one. Kind of here, they'll also be behind, and there's five on this one. Ugh. Just trying to um, move these guys in without making too much um, of an issue with it. The problem with this uh, this game with the uh, the tokens is it's very hard to stack up your aliens when you're playing this. Uh, this guy's also going to be just behind them. There's only one of those. So he's like there, and these guys all move five. One, two, three, four, five. Right, so motion tracker, and because it's turn five, we're drawing two per character. So uh, the first person to activate, uh, I think it was uh, a scares this time. Um, so 
We've got Aileen Lurker, so we, if the blip is not placed in a spawn point within line of sight of characters, immediately move four spaces, which it does. So we have a blip, which is there. So that was the first one. Second one, false alarm, we recycle a card, not soon enough. Um, so that was all of Vasquez's. Opponents will be last, so we have um, Ripley, so we are placing two at two, which is all right there, guys. Um, if the card splits are placed on a spawn point in line of sight, we discard cards, but we don't have to worry about that. The second card is they are coming, after, so we place two on four. Uh, move all blips and aliens four squares towards the nearest character. Okay, um, and this is, they've got line of sight on this. There's actually four aliens coming up from there as well. This is the most aliens I've had on the board, I think. Uh, and I might even be able to, I might actually be able to get people out. Um, we'll see. So now we've got two more cards to draw. One for, this is for a pwn. So we have alien salt. So one at one, which is just off. And there's five of them. I didn't mean to reveal that, but there's five, five at the bottom there. Um, and that doesn't do anything else more. And the last one is a false alarm. Well, this is definitely achievable now because we're now on turn six, which means we can now escape. So we have definitely done it, guys, because uh, Ripley over here is going to activate in a minute and uh, she'll be able to escape. But first, we're going to activate Vasquez. Uh, Vasquez reveals a card. It's an event. So she can um, recycle a card and draw a card. So she's going to do that. So recycle a card. And then she's drawing card and it's an event. Uh, set a card's aim dial to the character aim number, stand up any knockdown character, discard a hazard card on a character. Hmm. Let's do that. We might be, if we get an event now, we'd be able to stand up, um, we'd be able to stand up, uh, Hudson. So let's give it a go. It is! Amazing! So, uh, Hudson's up! Ironically, I just knocked the camera when I did that. Hudson's up. Boom. Well done, Vasquez. So Vasquez is going to run. She's going to hot foot it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, she's activating Hudson. No, she's activating Newt. Newt is going to recycle 10 cards. Because now we have to uh, get Ripley uh, to activate. Uh, so you have to exhaust five cards. There's one card exhausted. We reshuffle. Five. Um, with that, Ripley is going to do a rest action. So that's going to be five. Oh, sorry, four. And uh, she's going to do another rest action. Four. And then she's going to exit off the map. So we have done this mission now. We've got one or well, two characters technically off of the uh, off of Hadley's Hope and into the escape vessel. Right, so next we're activating uh, the people who are left. So we've got Hudson and Drake. Drake you can't see because he's behind this, uh, the alien there. So Hudson is going to... Well, Hudson actually can't get out of there with this thing in the way. So we're gonna activate Hudson first and he's gonna shoot. So uh, Hudson is going to exhaust a card to shoot. Got a nine sweet misses. Oh Hudson, you poor so and so. Um, you are you are dead. So he's going to exhaust another card to shoot again. And this time he got a three. So he takes out that, and we're we're happy with uh, how that ended. He won't be because he's going to die in a minute. Drake's next. So Drake, one, two, sorry, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, and that is the end of our hero's activation. It's now onto the alien phase. Um, and yeah, so they move towards the nearest character. So these guys over here are actually pretty safe, but you know what, We're, that's not fun. So one, two, three, four. Oh no, she's not gonna move. She gets rid of her damage and that's the end of her go. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. This is just a whole mess here. These guys are staying next to Hudson. One, two, three, four. I think I think I can get these guys up here. Moving through uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So yeah, we can get all these guys through. And then these guys are just gonna have to one, two, oh, three over there. This is so fiddly. Ugh. Okay, so you can just about see that. So we've got Hudson's pretty much surrounded there. The Alien Queen's just recuperated her wounds. Uh, these guys are coming in for these two here. We'll see if we can manage to get them out or not. So let's start with Hudson. He's got an aim of four. Uh, so he's gonna exhaust, he's not, he's gonna use his pistol. So these first guys are attacking him. There is one, two, three, four aliens there. So his defense is five, minus three, he needs two or less when he's defending. But first of all, his aim is four. And he misses. So we need two or less. He is knocked down. Okay, so blips, starting with over here. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then over to here. One, limping along. Should you just do that, that? Does exactly the same thing. Okay, cool. Um, spawning. So uh, this is for Ripley. She's the first one to activate. In the local, the blip's not placed in a spawn point within line of sight. Character moves four spaces. Uh, the next one. Exhaust one card for each character within the line of sight of this blip when it spawns. Uh, this is for Vasquez next. Uh, if Blip is not placed in a spawn point within line of sight, it moves four spaces. That's a one. And then false alarm, recycle a card. And then for a pwn, he's off the board because he's dead. Queen's guard, each alien model within line of sight, the queen moves two spaces towards the character who is closest to the queen's model. Um, now, technically, this is going to be Hudson. Um... But we're going to just, we're going to have them go towards uh, one, two. And then finally, Queen's Guard, each aim within line of sight of the Queen moves two space towards the character who's closest to the Queen's model again. Oh, and you should have placed one at two and one at four. Um, so, ugh, it's just such a pain to try to move all these around. So, uh, sorry guys, I've moved all these guys forward a little bit further, closer to the fleeing marines right uh turn seven and it's vasquez's turn she's got to reveal a card uh which was keep moving baby uh, which is an event so she can recycle a card and draw a card she's not going to bother with that um so vasquez is just going to hot foot it out of there along with drake hopefully so, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and she's out. One, two, three, four. And that's it, guys. We have done it. Well, we lost some good people along the way, but we've managed to get off of Hadley's Hope. Um, we, we're going to nuke this place for more bit. Only way to be sure. Uh, so, thank you for watching this. Uh, the exciting finale is going to be next week, where I will be trying to beat the Alien Queen aboard the Silico. Um, and yeah, you get to see Bishop for the first time because the Android Bishop I've not played with. Um, I play with every other character, but not Bishop. So we'll see how he plays, uh, next time. So thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed this and please, uh, like and subscribe to our various different social medias, Facebook, Instagram, of course, YouTube, uh, leave me some comments below. If I made some mistakes, definitely let me know because, uh, I am still learning this game as I go along. And I think sometimes I'll play a particular way in one of these videos, and then a week or two later when I play the next one, I will uh, I will have kind of 
house rule in a different way, which, um, yeah, isn't especially great. But um, if, I, if I have many mistakes, please let me know. Um, so until next time, guys, please stay safe and keep rolling.